Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to share with you my favorite fresh and clean scents. And when I say fresh, I don't mean in a sense of citrusy fragrances. There won't be any citrusy scents, just scents that are very clean, very fresh, very skin-like, you know, that sort of uh, have a feel of um, freshly clean skin. I hope it makes sense. You know, this category is really new for me. I never used to gravitate towards these types of fragrances in the past, but for some reason, uh, this spring, I sort of um, started to enjoy them a little bit more. I also purchased a few fragrances that fall into this category. So you will see a few new scents, which I don't think you've seen yet in any of my hauls. So yeah, I'm just gravitating towards these types of scents lately. And so I decided to share with you my favorites in this category. Let's start with, of course, my favorite house, Sergio. How can I do a video without mentioning this house? And a fragrance that I'm talking about is Apollonia. What a stunning bottle. I just love it. Now, this fragrance has three notes, at least that's what's listed. It is orris, it is white florals, and it is musk. And you know, that's exactly what it smells like. This fragrance is light. It is a, a skin scent. It, it does smell like a freshly clean skin. Really, that's what it smells like. You know, I do get orris or iris in here. You know, it, it's really... In this case, hard to tell a difference. There is um, some kind of light touch of other florals. Again, nothing really stands out. It's really like a very, very light bouquet of florals. And of course, there is musk in here. It is light. It is understated. It's like, um, you know, a scent of um, crisp white shirt. If there is such a thing, that's what I associated with. Um, it is very just kind of a, a little bit serene type of scent. So yeah, gorgeous. Uh, if you're looking for a beast, no, this is not for you at all. This is a light type of scent. This is very much a skin scent, but uh, it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, kind of unusual for me to love this type of scent, but I really, really do. Second one is a scent that I've had for a very long time. And I used to talk about it sort of uh, at the beginning <laughs> Uh, in my early videos, you know, and I haven't talked about it in a long time. And, you know, once I started sort of gravitating towards these types of scents, I remembered about this one and I pulled it out again. This is Rain from Mark Jacobs. Um, it is a discontinued scent. I know that for sure. I think you can still find it on discounter sites. And this, oh my God, when I smell it, I just... It's amazing. It's so amazing. I don't know why I sort of forgot about this scent for a while. It is, it just, you know, kind of, um, I don't know, as soon as I smell it, it, it relaxes me. It puts me at ease. It's like it um, takes away all my stress. It is so, so fresh. I mean, the name is completely fitting. You know, it's called rain and it does smell like you know, the air would smell after a rain, like uh, you know, a grass would smell after the rain. I can't even remember any specific notes in here, but that's what it smells like. You know, you just had a really, really strong rain on kind of this warm day and it, uh, you know, you had this hot air that became really kind of cool and you, you can really smell uh, the air. You can really smell the rain, the water that's mixed with this um, hot air that's now cooling down. You can smell the wet grass. That's what it is. It is absolutely relaxing. Yeah, what an amazing scent. Again, nobody talks about it, but uh, I would suggest if you're looking for something like this, kind of a serene, relaxing type of scent, definitely pay attention to this one. It is so, so amazing. Now, next one um, you probably haven't seen yet. 
uh, well, the full bottle of, although I have definitely spoken about the scent before. I mentioned it in one or two videos when I was talking about either testing new fragrances or new releases that I was excited about. Well, uh, once I had a chance to try it, I knew that I had to have a full bottle. Totally fell in love with this scent. And it is Iris Porcelana from X Nihilo. You know, in general, I think X Nihilo makes the best floral scents. Uh, that are at least best for me because I now have three of their fragrances and really all of them are floral, which is, you know, typically a difficult category for me. But for some reason, they make the best florals. And, you know, when I was talking about the scent the first time, uh, as a new release that I was, uh, you know, excited about or I wanted to test, I said that because this is this iris scent, I probably won't be, it probably won't be my cup of tea, you know, that I would definitely need to test it first uh, to find out. I definitely wouldn't be blind buying it. And I was so surprised how much I loved it. Now, this is definitely iris, but this is um, iris that's more on a sweet side. Like it's, it's almost, I can't call it gourmand, but it's definitely sweet iris. It's very fluffy it's it's um sweet there is is there a vanilla in here like actual vanilla i don't know well uh, no there is no vanilla in here but it feels like there is a little bit of vanilla in here so there is violet leaf there is iris of course there is rose there's no rose that i get in here violet leaf yes together with iris very sweet and just a slightly powdery iris, very kind of a soft and fluffy type of iris. There's musk in here, sandalwood. Yes, I can see all of that. Maybe it's a sandalwood that, that's bringing in a little bit of creaminess and a little bit of sweetness. Perhaps, maybe it's not vanilla. But overall, it's very clean scent. This scent is definitely clean. You know, for me, um, iris usually, usually brings that cleanliness to a scent. I know for many people it's musk, which I get, but for, and sometimes it is musk for me as well, but it's also iris that brings that uh, feel of cleanliness to the scent. So this is no exception. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning iris scent. Um, totally fell in love with it, totally had to have a full bottle. Next, I also have to mention a fragrance that I've had for a very, very long time from Joe Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I've had this fragrance for a really long time. I, you know, had um, other bottles uh, before this one, and you can see how much is used up here, although I haven't touched it in a long time. Um, you know, uh, although I haven't touched it in a long time, I never wanted to declutter it, you know, because I always felt like, you know, I am going to come back to this fragrance. I'm going to like it again, you know, and because now I'm going through this phase where I'm really enjoying these kind of fresh, clean types of scents, I am starting to pull for this one again. So I'm really, really glad that I did not declutter it. Well, this is <laughs> wood sage and sea salt as the name suggests you know there is seaweed in here there's sea salt there's grapefruit well yeah that's what it smells like like um like salty sea breeze like salty air you know where, you, where you're somewhere by the water and grapefruit brings even more kind of a freshness to this scent it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I am really loving it again. There you go. This just shows you that, um, you know, our tastes and our preferences change all the time. I, I don't know if, that, if it's like that for everyone, but for me, for sure, you know, I go through these stages where I enjoy one type of um, fragrance, you know, more than I enjoy another. And I m might not enjoy a certain uh, type of fragrance for a while and I might come back to it. So this is definitely the case with this one. But right now, really loving it. Next on my list, I want to mention Blank Poudre from Healy. Now, I only have a, a sample here, which I actually got last year, I think at the end of last summer, fell in love with the scent right away. But I kind of was surprised because, because at that time, you know, I really 
it wasn't my cup of tea, these types of scents. So I kind of thought, okay, let me not rush. I was so tempted to get a full bottle right away, but I thought, okay, let me not rush. Let me test this a little bit more. Let it, you know, kind of uh, lay around. I'll try it again because I think it's kind of a... Uh, not real. Me liking it is not real, you know? And I let it uh, sit during the winter because I don't think it's really suitable for winter. And I came back to it this, this uh, spring, started testing it again. Yeah, and I'm still loving it. I'm loving it even more than I did uh, last, uh, what, fall, kind of the end of summer. So this is definitely a contender for a full bottle. Well, what is the scent about? Let's talk about what it's about. Of course, it has really interesting notes. It has cotton flour. It has rice. It has vanilla. It has some floral notes. There's musk and sandalwood, you know, and it's very hard to describe what it smells like. It's some kind of amazingly fluffy, clean, slightly sweet, slightly creamy combination of all of these notes, you know? Uh, I can't say that I really know what cotton flower smells like, but I kind of imagine it smelling similar to this, you know, in my mind. So interesting. It's sweeter than I ex expected it to be, but it's not overly sweet, you know? It's definitely creamy. It's um clean it definitely has a very clean feel to it yeah if i didn't know i would say there is a little bit of iris in here or maybe even not iris but maybe oris more than iris yeah it's gorgeous so so beautiful definitely contender for a full bottle we will see because you know as always, I have a lot of <laughs> fragrances on my wish list, but this is stunning. I would love to know, you know, I would love to know if any of you have tried this fragrance. How does it perform on you? You know, I've sort of, I've tested it many times, but I never had a chance to do a full day wear. So I sort of don't know, you know, the lasting power. And uh, let me know if any of you have tried this one, what do you think about it? Next fragrance that has a very fresh and clean feel to it is, is Serena or Serena, I don't know, from Flores. Another fragrance that nobody talks about, but so beautiful. It it reminds me a little bit of Rain from Marc Jacobs, but uh, more on a fruity side. Like in, in Rain, you just have this fresh air or fresh grass after the rain. Here, it sort of has a similar feel, but there are also some fruits added in. So this one has seawater. It has bergamot. There is a uh, there are red berries in here. There you go. There are some florals in here as well. There is musk. Uh, there is sandalwood. So this one has very, very fresh feel to it. Again, it's like this salty water, but uh, you've added um, some red berries to it. I definitely get red berries very clearly. Not so much florals. I don't really get florals here. It's more red berries. Like they're a little bit sour red berries like they're not sweet and it's like you're sitting on the seashore you're eating red berries and you're breathing this sea air that's kind of what it's like it's not the the scent is not very strong and probably not very projecting but it creates such a lovely bubble around you that you can really feel and you can really enjoy so yeah Flor uh, Serena or Serena, whatever, from Flores is another great, clean, fresh scent. Another one that has, again, a similar feel, but slightly different is Rose Atlantic from uh, Diaz and Durga. So this one is also similar to the last one I spoke about from Flores, but the difference here is that instead of berries, you have florals. This one is again, you're sitting by the sea. You <laughs> see, I have many fragrances like that. I really, really love the smell of like sea breeze, the smell of seawater, you know, love that. And so this one, you're sitting, sitting somewhere by the sea and somebody threw a huge bouquet of roses into the water. That's what it smells like. It has rose, it has salt, 
it has uh, these aquatic notes. It is absolutely stunning. Very, very refreshing, very relaxing, uh, very serene type of scent. And the cap is so hard to put on for some reason. And it just kept trying and trying. But finally, it's on. There you go. This is Rose Atlantic from Diaz and Durga. And now I'm going to end with two new fragrances in my collection. Both of them are from Estee Lauder from their um, I guess private collection that came out um, I think at the end of last year you know I kind of um, never paid attention to this line I don't think I've ever even seen it in store anywhere probably because I never looked for this line honestly and, and I went to uh, what is it called cosmetic company store or cosmetic company outlet and I found a few of these here they were in a smaller size I think this is a uh, 33 35 mils and so there were two they were very very inexpensive i think very discounted so i decided to get them and both of them ended up being these um, kind of clean fresh musky types of scents so the first one i have here is sensuous stars and by the way, uh, both of these have just a few notes in, in them, which I think is the case with all of the fragrances from this private collection. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So this one, uh, like I said, is Sensuous Stars and it has Chinese plum, lavender and orris. You know, I read Lavender, I was like, okay, I'm gonna hate this fragrance but because it is so inexpensive and I'm so curious about it, I'm still gonna get it. And the best part is that I do not get Lavender here at all. If I didn't read the notes, I would have no idea that there is Lavender here. It is not here at all. I do get Oris or Iris, you know, something like that. And I do get Plum because it ha does have a touch of... Uh, this fruity sweetness. Definitely, I get that. Now, I also get musk in here. To me, I feel like there is musk in here as well, but I don't know. It's not listed in the notes. Now, the fragrance is more sweet when I, you know, smell it from the bottle or if I uh, smell it from the blotter. When it hits my skin, uh, the sweetness definitely diminishes, you know, like that um, plummy, fruity kind of sweetness is not as noticeable on my skin uh, compared to like out of the bottle or on the blotter. So it does change, but either way, it's a really pleasant scent. You know, it is nothing groundbreaking. It is nothing new. It is nothing out of this world. These fragrances um, are simple, pretty simple, but you know, there are times when you're looking for something simple, for something unassuming, for something that doesn't like, you know, kind of punch you in the nose for, for the times when, you know, you sort of want to have some kind of nice fragrance smell around you, but you don't want anything overpowering. And this scent is uh, exactly like that, exactly like that, you know? It's lovely. It's really, really lovely uh, because, like I said, I'm really into these, you know, skin types of scents, kind of a, uh, a little bit clean, a little bit powdery, a little bit musky. You know, this one fits perfectly into that category. So again, nothing groundbreaking. I would never pay full price for this, but because I found it for a really, really affordable fr price, uh, I got it and I did not regret it. And the second one that I got is called Blushing Sands, exactly the same bottle. And here the notes are vetiver, pink pepper, and musk. Um, kind of when I read the notes, I thought mm, maybe this one is a little bit more masculine. And it is definitely more masculine because there's absolutely no sweetness in this scent. What I'm getting more than anything else is really musk and vetiver, pepper. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of pepper as well, you know, as I'm smelling it, it's really kind of tickling my nose. There is a little bit of pepper in here, but uh, I think pepper disappears quite quickly. Uh, overall, it's vetiver, it's vetiver and musk. Um, it is a little bit more on the masculine side, I think, for me, because, you know, Mm, there is absolutely no sweetness in here. And because vetiver is really very, very prominent, even more than musk, you know, but it is definitely light. It is definitely a skin 
type of scent you know if you're looking for something that doesn't have any sweetness because surprisingly not, not everyone likes sweet fragrances you know then this could be really really nice uh the other one is definitely i like a little bit more because it has a bit of sweetness but you know i tried this one as well and uh this one is really nice as well like this one really is this musky skin scent you know uh clean definitely very clean so this one is nice too again nothing groundbreaking you know these all of these are very simple but if you can find it for a really good price you might you might want to try them so this one is blushing scents so there you go this was my list of my favorite kind of um, clean and fresh types of scents please let me know do you enjoy this category of fragrances and what are your favorites Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.